My question, Edgar, is those planes that fly by that, that have the trailing banners, I was wondering, how do they take off and how do they land with those banners? What better place to answer that question than right here? This place has been here since 1929, so over 90 years now. And I'm a pilot, I'm a mechanic, so I do all the work here. I mean, I build the engines, we put the airplanes together, we fly them. How on earth do you learn how to do what you do? Uh, I've been here since I was in diapers, so um, sort of born into it. I was literally putting together red letter banners standing on a stool because I wasn't tall enough to reach the straps when I was real little. Much of Chris's business is flying these iconic banners with five foot red letters or enormous pre-printed billboards. And getting them up in the air is not as easy as it might seem. Everybody thinks, how do you take off with that thing? Well, you couldn't physically take off with it. It's just too big, it'd be too much drag. It wouldn't be safe, it wouldn't work. So can you just show me how this works? Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's do it. Along for the ride with us, our curiosity seeker, Deb, ready to discover firsthand how Chris and his team pull it all off. The banner is laid out upwind and literally is a 275 or 300 foot rope running to a set of poles. They're about six, eight feet apart, about six feet tall. The end of the rope has a loop in it and it's just strung across the poles. The airplane has a grapple hook coming from a release in the back that comes to the cockpit. We take off, we deploy the hook. So that is the banner behind me on the ground. Apparently what's gonna happen is a plane is gonna come from back here, scoop down to the ground and hook that up. It's kind of crazy. The pilot comes around the pattern. We set up for a descent sort of at the poles. And we actually swing this hook through the poles. It grabs it, they climb out, and then about the time the airplane's over the top of the banner, it will just peel the banner off the ground and climb out. It's hard to do, but it's pretty cool to watch. Once the plane is airborne, a quick check to make sure the banner has unfurled correctly, and then it's time to fly. It's a lot of coastline, a lot of very busy beaches. We might just hit certain beaches or certain sections of the Cape, but we can do anywhere from an hour to four hours or even more. There is still more work to do upon return though, as landing with a banner attached is just as much of a no-no as taking off with it. You know, when you see it flying, you'll see the banner hangs below the airplane. So if you ever came in and let the banner beat you to the ground, it's gonna pull you out of the sky. That's not good. So before the wheels hit the grass, the pilot must literally let the banner off the hook. We come down and we descend over the, the banner area where we're gonna drop and then over a designated spot, we'll just pull the release and the banner will just come off and it will just fall to the ground. And then the airplane comes around, lands just like a normal airplane. From there, all that's left is for the crew to collect the banner and start prepping the next one to go up. Summer is a lot of things around here, but restful is not one of them. I am so glad I asked the question because that was so cool. I've never seen that before. It was really fun to watch. These guys are amazing at what they do. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and perhaps more importantly, let me know what you are curious about, because as you can see, I might look into it for you. I'm Edgar B. Herrick III. Stay curious out there. The Curiosity Desk is sponsored by Emerson College, inspiring curiosity and creative expression in all of us.